Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. We got a compass box, Ooh. Orchard House. It's got a little spiral and deal with, with all kinds of stuff on it. We're going to test it! There's Place Oak Cross style. There's butterflies. All right, forty six percent. It replaced. Well, I, this has actually been out probably since for like six, seven months at least. Okay, since like maybe last summer, summer of uh, twenty one. Summer twenty one sounds like which it should have been Woodstock or something. I had heard at that time. I had heard this was replacing Asyla. Got it. Now though, I've been hearing this is replacing Oak Cross because it had been discontinued. So one or the other is okay. Accurate. Stuff's being replaced. Time <laughs> moves on. This does smell. Ooh, fruity. Yeah, I mean they're they're the fruits all over it. Fruity flora vanilla flora flora floral floral, floral apple vanilla vanillas. There's a little tinge of. Something different. Is it a Underneath. touch of tropical? No. Something kind of tangy. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Tang? Well, it's not tang like maybe, the, maybe, maybe it went is. to the moon. I don't Tang's know. Tang's the powder. The oh, powder when you orange. first open it? Yeah. And that little... Maybe that's it. Okay. Yeah, the almost yeah, when you first open it, a little bit of the just the powder, little, that yeah, fine the, powder. The, the dust that probably gives you cancer. I don't know if they even make tang anymore. <laughs> ah, they got to. Tang went to the moon. Tang went to space. Vanillas, fruity. That should be floral. a shirt. Tang goes to Vanillas, Mars. Vanillas, oats. Sorry. All right, I gotta taste it now. Straw. Mmm. Cinnamon. There's more on the nose than I had expected. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> this is another good compass box, baby. Wow. Um, multi explosion right from first sip. Ooh. It just went all buttered popcorn on me. Wow. I didn't expect that. And there's some stuff in the middle that was just starting to. Wow. Sweet and slippery, buttery popcorn. Buttered caramel popcorn. Wow. With some. Yes, with that kettle corn kind of kick too with the sweetness. Wow. Mm. Some of this, a lot of the nose though isn't necessarily on the palate mm -hmm. yet. But there's definitely a, a floral orchard. Yeah. Um, we have malty again on the open. Mm. I. Uh, I usually don't get that buttered popcorn unless it's some kind of bourbon. Wow. I, um, first fill, second fill cask. What's going on here? Fragrant, sweet. I'm balanced. sure there's some mixture. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Well, I mean, it's a blend. So I, I mean, it's, know. It's genius is what it is. Wow. The finish here is super long and it gets it, more and more like fresh popcorn taste that would be the smell wow i am still trying to suss out the even what's on the nose that underlying kind of tanginess huh. it's on it's on the palate i'm just trying to figure out it, it's not orange tang on the palate it may nope. have smelled like that but there's something else here i'm just trying to to oh. suss out what that is man if you well, i'll just be repeating myself if i say the buttered <laughs> mm. how many times yeah, did i Mark say know. buttered popcorn drink drink Go yeah, another one. No, I would not normally, but oh, well, I don't want. You, ain't, you don't have much left that's, in there. It's true, very true. <sighs> Flo mm. Some more of the floral is showing on the palate. Fruits, um, pears, apples. On the palate? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Long in the in the finish. I get that's the first time the velvetiness has just kind of showed up. Mm. I'm still picking up popcorn kernel. I can't get past it. That's good though. <laughs> there is a little bit of maltiness showing, a little bit of, a I'd lot. still say straw. I think I said straw earlier. Hay. I like this neat, 
drop Me too. Of, yeah, the drop yeah, of water soured hurt. it up slightly. Wow. It took away a lot of the fruits, I think, and even some of the floor, more floralness that was with it. Neat. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't taste as malty to me either. Wow, that's and it was a tiny drop. Hmm. That gave me a little bit more of like maybe a ginger. Yeah. Okay. Ginger in there. Yeah. With the water, I didn't get that before. Yeah. Wow, that's an interestingness. An interestingness. <laughs> The nose is unique as well. It's just there's, and there's still kind of a note of something in there. I'm with you. There's a lot of notes in there. Mm -hmm. You didn't, you didn't get calling those out. People are commenting how, how diversified your nose and palate have become getting, again. Getting yeah. back, back, to, getting back to. Are you at 99.9? .9? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wonder what they put on here for. Mm -hmm. They don't have the recipe on here. The batch number is on here. Um, do, do, do. You can look it up. I'm sure we could go to Compass Box website. They put out a lot of information on there. You can pull up kind of their recipe sheet. Right. Yeah, they um, give you, if you choose to delve, yeah. you can delve. You can delve deep. Yeah, they'll give you as much information as you desire. Just by law, they can't put it all on the, on the box or on the bottle. Mm. That's another hit. And this is a standard offering, correct? Yeah, core range. Core As I say, it's either replace very nice Asila or Oak Cross or both. Let's see on the back here. Orchard House gathers together some of the fruitiest malts mm -hmm. Scotland has to offer. Definitely. Including whiskeys from Linkwood and Klein Leash Distilleries. Look at that. What's more, we have sourced many of these whiskeys as new spirit and laid them down in our own oak casks. Nice. This, our monument to fresh fruitiness in Scotch whiskey, has been many years in the making. Wow. That's very nice. Very, uh, very surprising. I expect, I mean, it's a great nose. <clears throat> I think a Sila was even, it's been quite a while since I've had a Sila. There's one sealed over there, one of the older bottles. Yeah. But it, was, it wasn't it was as fruity no. as this. It was, if I remember, I just lighter, smoother. Mm hmm. Vanillas and, and a little bit of citrus. This one is really fruity, really floral, great nose, nice palette, neat. Throw that in there. Neat, nice palette. <laughs> well, it's still a nice palette. It is, but I like it neat better. And yeah. and the the nose here comes off way sweeter than the uh, palette does. I'm with you. I could I'm nosing an empty mm -hmm. glass here, and it's pleasurable. Yeah, very nice. That's probably the big surprise for me is uh, I, I thought it was going to be sweeter. Instead, it was malty with mm -hmm. that popcorn finish. Right. Well, that's a good nose. Mm. I'm ready to score. Um, score it. Yes. Um, come on. Come on. 90. Ooh, I say an 89. I was kind of at an 89, but that's where I was hemming and on. So you're saying 89. Yeah. I'm ahead of yeah. you on this one. Yeah. Um, it surprised me. I like surprises. And it definitely does. The nose surprised, and then the palate was a whole new experience. Don't do it with the, well, try it with the water. Maybe you'll it, like it. Anyone that's watched us for a while knows we're, we're Compass Box fanboys. Well, we, we I think we used to be though, bigger in, in the early days. But when we, I'm we actually have, more stunned by the return I, of, of the tastings. I, and enjoying them as much as I do because right. I'm going to go get some oak cross for myself as it's disappearing. Mm -hmm. I thought I'm not going to like that oak cross right. as much. Right. And then I was like, what? It's, yeah. The peat monster, when we redid that, that's even a, a new recipe. Boom. I was like, man, this is killing me. I it's still holding up. And I, th I think we have high expectations for Compass Box and he, and John Glazer consistently meets. Well, yeah, he exceeds, I would say, high expectations. I think so. yeah, yeah, I kept thinking, I had this, what, the Oak Cross was what, our 12th show, maybe? Yeah, or or, or yeah, eighth? Earlier, yeah. Yeah, and, and I remembered enjoying it then, but I thought that was eight or almost nine years ago. Mm -hmm. I've had so many whiskeys now. I bet you it's not going to rise to the expectation and then exceeded. Right. Which surprised me. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, but, uh, and again, nice. $45. Huh. Definitely. Steal. Worth it. Yeah. Steal. Uh, I believe, I was going to say becoming, but probably, he's probably been 
the best blender of whiskeys for a while. Yeah, I, I, I want to describe it as like an artisan blender. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it just, everything seems like it has the Midas touch. Yeah. Even the to, label. And, and to consistently. Again, again and con, again and again. And continually with new releases or standard releases. And the Special cores. editions. Yeah. Core ranges. Yeah. Great whiskeys. Yeah. Can't miss. You, they're not a miss. <clears throat> All right. So, all right, Scotch. Well, we got to get any call outs or anything? No. Scotch. Scotch it, you Scotch Goths. Slaunch it. Dummies. Dummies.